Today in the shop, we're building Christmas trees out of salvage doors. I've got this great idea. I'm a Pinterest nut. And I love just perusing, looking at everybody's good ideas. And this particular idea that I got is Christmas time. It was a door Christmas tree. I'm looking for a four panel door, sometimes known as a Bible door, but I'm looking for something with some color on it. And this one right here, it's kind of hiding it a little bit, but under all this little peeling paint is color. The other side itself already has color. So um, take a sander to it, bear a little bit of wood underneath it, kind of distress it a little bit, and then I'll show you how uh, to frame it out and make a stand for it. It's a pretty quick project, really. All right, so the idea I have here, is I'm, I got a four panel door, okay? It's just a regular interior door that we all, we have lots of. That's what I got, a little wobbly here. But, so we're gonna cut the tree out of the core of the door. Cut that line there, and then cut that line. So these, this is my cut line. These are gonna be my drops, okay? But after I drop these, I'll save them because you can reuse them to make another tree. And I think you can get at least two trees out of one door. Lay it up on the table. I'm gonna hit this side first because that'll reveal the most color. So what I look for is kind of what's underneath it. Hopefully there's a little bit more color underneath this base coat. So, you know, and every time you sand it, you reveal more color, which is, gives you more texture. All right, so I'm gonna hit this real quick. So when you're picking a door, you don't have to pick the most perfect door in the, in the, in the lot because really peely paint, crackly paint, all kind of weird colors. When you see the finished result of this, you'll see why because it, it just adds immediate texture to the whole project. So I'm gonna take the rest of the hardware off. There's a couple of broken hinges, mortise lock in here. Then I'm gonna make sure the door is square. At that point, I'm gonna lay the track saw on and cut, cut it the shape I want. Next thing I'm going to do is make sure, see how square this is. And the way you do that on any square, you measure catty quarter to catty corner. And I got 83 and 3 eighths that direction. And 83 and a quarter that direction. So it's an eighth out. It's not a big deal on this particular job. Now I've got to map out what I want to do, map, map out the tree. And that's basically just a, a pie shape. So the way I go about doing that, to decide which part is the top, which I'm going to use the top of the door, the original top of the door to do that. I'm going to find the center, and then I'm going to draw my lines to the, to the other corners. So this, is my, this is my center. So the next one, I'm going to use a chalk line. Just, that's a little more proven way. So if you haven't used chalk line, it's just that. It's a string with chalk on it. It's a way of dropping a, a straight line from one point to another. Right there. Make sure our depth is right. That gives me a little bit, like about a quarter inch through, and I put some two by fours up here so I don't cut my table. Okay, I'll flip this and cut the other side.
And now you see the Christmas tree. There it is, there's another one. So one door, two Christmas trees. Now this is all loose, so I've got to frame this. Uh, all these panels are always, they're never glued in, they're set in, and so they can expand and contract. That's what makes a door, you know, doesn't make, keeps it from busting apart. And, and then the frame itself keeps it intact. So once I've cut the frame off, this is kind of loosey-goosey, and we gotta, we gotta frame it out to put it back together. Got some cool old whitewashed barn board. Right? So the door is an inch and a quarter thick, which is a pretty thin door. So I wanna, I wanna add an inch on one side, an inch on the other. So three and a quarter inches is what I'm looking for. What I've got here is 79 inches. I'm gonna cut it at, at 84, okay? And then, I'll, then I'll, I'll cut that on the chop saw over here. And then I'll run the table saw and I'll cut me two pieces to put on either side. Anytime you use an old wood, it's best to be very careful and check for that because, again, it can be very dangerous and you don't want to mess up your saw and you don't want it to get in your eye. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. What I just did was scrape some of the loose paint off, and I used this uh, this cool tool with uh, a vacuum cleaner from the Fest Tool, and just kind of just scrape and suck. That's all it was, and it's removing all the loose stuff. And I'm gonna come back here in a second with a with a sander, and just knock it down, and then I'll be ready to apply it to the edge of the of the tree. Knock the top down slightly, and then I took the edge off because that comes where the splinters can be. So that was just to make it a workable piece of wood. And once I put it on the tree, it's ready to go. All we got to do is put uh, put a top coat on it. So the door itself is an inch and a quarter, right? So I want to want to face frame it. They call it okay, and this is one inch. All right. So what, I, what I'm going to do is put some one inch spacers underneath the door. So all I have to do is set it down on the table and nail it in. So put your first spacer in, get a small piece to get your center section. If you don't put your center section in, you see how it'll, it'll swag, sag. So pick it up, put your center section in, and then get you another piece and we'll just set it right down the middle. Okay, so now if you look at it, it's one inch off the ground, off the deck. I'll go ahead and leave this one a little bit long and I'm gonna butt the other one up to it and I'll cut that angle on the next piece. And then at that point, I'll come in with a handsaw and just kind of cut the excess off. It's nice to have these tools uh, in your shop, but you can do this with a screw or a finished nailer. It's all, it, all this can be done with hand tools at home. You get a little glue. So I'm gonna put it right in the middle. All right, and then we're gonna put a little bit right here where it's meeting, because these panels will float. And then we're gonna put it right on the top. push this thing up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this on the, sand, on the sander over here. I'm just gonna sand off what I need to sand off. I'll take a little belt sander and knock the edge off here when I finish. 
glue, a few nails, and then we'll start working on the skirt. Now you're starting to see the, uh, the way that this thing will come together. Now I'm going to turn it around and get the, the, uh, the base off the edge, and I'm going to work on the stand. So this is the bottom of the door, okay, and, this, and this, the skirt, is, I mean this, that, with the skirt, okay. And what I want to do is I want to have a board coming down thin board, another thin board. This is what's going to hold it up on the stand. And then I want to have a filler piece right here. We're building a trunk for the tree that's going to sandwich both front and back and then have a nice thick stock coming through it. So I'm going to grab a piece of two by four and go over to the table saw and cut a small piece. All right. This is my stock the same thickness but basically what I'm going to end up with is this okay and if you come back and you just slide it in I'm gonna go ahead and use a piece of this because I'm gonna put a skirt on this at the end okay. I'm on a nice clean base so I can it'll uh, adhere so I'm going to run this through the joiner real quick. Clean that in. extra glue off. I've got one last thing to do. Unless you stick it in a pot, it's not going to stand up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four little legs that they go in opposite directions on either side. You can just set it down and walk away. I need four pieces, but I got two pieces identical. All I'm going to do is run a 45 through it from the center, and that's going to give me four identical pieces with a little 45 taper on the end because you don't want it to trip on I'm going to put a 45 on my, on my miter saw, and I'm going to get that center right on the blade. How about that? This is the fun part. Since this is flush, all I'm going to do is line it up on the corner and on the bottom, and that'll get me a good right angle. You can check it if you want to, just to make sure it's right. I'll put a little glue on it. Guys, that was pretty much it. All you got to do now is take it off your work table, set it down, and there you go. And that, that thing is over seven foot tall. So however tall the door is, plus your stem, I mean, you can have a big Christmas tree. I could put a little star on top, you know, right there, it's a star. And uh, it's kind of fun. So. Uh, all kind of good ideas out there. Uh, this is just one I saw that I really liked. It's Christmas. I got doors. You can find them everywhere. They're on the side of the road. You can go to a salvage shop near you or make it whatever you want. But uh, fun project. You know, you can do it at home. Pretty good results. I'll make this one a, a tree as well. And so you'll have two trees out of one door, like I said earlier. 
Guys, it's a great scale of economics, and, you know, enjoy. Enjoy.